In today's video, I made an oasis out of a desert using moss in 1.18, which happens to be the biggest project that I've worked on so far in the server. The heck? Who the heck? What is he doing? I don't know what this guy's doing. What's this guy's deal? I, it doesn't matter either way. You may notice that we've got some uh, some pretty cool new armor here. I did the off-camera grinding that I said I would. Um, So yeah, we've got some villagers. He's actually over here curing them again at the moment. They uh, all got uncured after we traded a bunch with them, but that's, uh, that's not what you came here for. You were looking for moss, weren't you? boys so today the plan is simple we've got jungle outline probably gonna fill it the entire area and with moss not sure how that's gonna go but um yeah we've got a few other things to do this episode if you've noticed all of these beds have turned yellow and it's actually it's actually that guy's fault he also did a few things to my sheep which is not very appreciated so we, we might have to sort them out with that first all right i have the curse of binding now wait can i actually apply this to a head <gasps> know what we're gonna do now, eh? I'm going AFK. How's our chance? How's our chance? Let's see. How are we gonna do this? Place that there. Do I have a lever? Damn it. No lever. Okay, let's see if this is gonna work. Oh, it worked. No way. Oh, are you back, Koha? Yeah, I'm back. How's, how's your Why? helmet going? Why? I can't put on my helmet. Yeah, um, you like that? Yeah, I got you a new helmet. Ryan. That's what you get for the piss sheep. That's what you get for those sheep, okay? You have to wear the llama hel helmet of shame now. Yeah, it's, it's got cursor binding. You're welcome for that. Good luck getting that off. So yeah, pretty bad day for him, really. Anyways, uh, the only problem with doing moss in a desert is uh, is that moss doesn't actually spread to sand, so we're gonna have to replace all of it with grass, and uh, we might need a bit of a general mob farm or something. So let's let's jump into doing a general mob farm first, so that we can you know get some easy bone meal. So we got the center part done, now it's time to do the platforms. Completed the mob farm. It looks kind of cool, really. Uh, did a lot of the building and stuff. That entire time lapse was like an hour and a half condensed down to long. Into like what, a minute or something? I don't know. Ridiculous. Either way, this thing is just absolutely spewing out resources now, so it was really a good investment. We're gonna use this to get our netherite gear and stuff and all of that. But uh, yeah. So out of that, I've got a double chest of bones here. We will definitely need more. I feel for the area that we're gonna cover today. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, I definitely feel like uh, I've bitten off a little bit more than I can chew. But hopefully with the with the help of some friends like this person behind me, we'll be able to get it done, hopefully. Oh yeah, while I was doing that entire time lapse, someone at Project decided to go and grab a couple chests of dirt. Yeah, I don't know how long he spent, especially because he only had efficiency three diamond shovels, I think. So thanks, Yom. Shout out to Yom. I don't know how long this took you, but hey, I mean, we're gonna need it. Well, I mean, with that being said, I guess we better start placing the border, I suppose. I mean, oh boy, this is gonna take a long time. So we did the border, now I'm just gonna literally pick a corner and start placing I guess. Oh boy, this is gonna be a lot of work. Oh 
Oh boy. This is fun. I love making YouTube videos. Nah, I'm kidding. This is actually quite a enjoyable thing, just placing blocks. I'm not quite sure how the hell I'm going to do this overhang, so I might I might have to come back to that later. We might just fill in the sides, and then we'll sort out this this problematic area later, I suppose. So, uh... So as it would turn out, um, well, uh, five chests is, it's not really enough. If we just like put this here real quick and then we just go like, bet this wasn't the transition you were expecting. It was safe to say by this point, I was feeling severely overwhelmed by the project we had just taken on. We just used five double chests of dirt. That is absolutely ridiculous to me. This certainly is taking me such a long time to do all of this work. So, so if you're appreciating it, why not give this video a like and consider subscribing down below. It really helps me out. If you really like to see more of these, then well, it's a good way to let me know. I'm thinking at this point, I need to do something to lift my moods a little bit. Let's do a side quest real quick. <sighs> what's the date what's the date what's the date please 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 don't tell me please don't tell me oh no i'm late does that does that look okay i think it does oh you know what we need we need a christmas tree hold on just place the prison Ah, there we go. Just move them around. All right. Yeah, so it, may, it might be Christmas time now. I, I've kind of put some Christmas presents around. Like, these Christmas presents are actually diamonds. Um, So we're going to put some Christmas presents under the tree. Maybe some chests. You know, if you're on the server now, you might want to place some presents in there. We might do some secret Santa or something. I've also got another task that I need to do. I think it's a good idea that I set up my bookshop at spawn. So uh, we'll go do that now, I guess. Maybe with a little bit of Christmas theme. I don't know. So what the heck is going on here? Like, I, I know that the bed was blue, but it's in my inventory inventory now and it's yellow. Oh, uh... That's more than enough. I, I do not need this much. That's that's enough. It's enough slices. So yes, we finally got the inside of the bookstore here done. I obviously need to uh, put all the books in here, but I'm gonna have to make multiple trips back and forth from uh, the base that we have up over the, basically up over the other side of the world. It's ridiculous. It's such a long walk. It's like a thousand blocks or something. But I honestly think that this looks like a pretty good build. Something that I haven't tried before is the warp blocks mixed with the dark oak here. You know, I hope it looks good. Yeah, so the interior is not quite perfect. I'm not quite sure what to do to it to, you know, change things up. So a little bit that's going to be clearance aisle of course good business practice to place the clearance aisle at the end of the store to make customers walk all the way through so because this episode has been very time lapsey i'm just going to do this 
Yeah, so uh, while I was out building the entire bookshop or whatever, you, uh, give me a name for that place, by the way, down in the comments. Top name with the most likes will be uh, what it's called. Please be nice. Anyways, while I was out doing that, yeah, we kind of went ahead and did the bone wheel stuff anyways. Here's like the 10 second time lapse for that. Yeah, so, you know, an hour and a half was put into bone milling all of that stuff. And then, as it turns out, uh, well, of course, there's a lot of crap that's, you know, gets bone milled on top of it. So, I spent another hour and a half essentially mowing the lawns here like you just saw me doing now. So, the entire place is done. We got all the moss in that we needed to get in. You know, it feels a little bit lackluster. Unlike, unlike you, this is taking me tons and tons of hours to do. You've just seen, like, the time-lapse outcomes. And it's just, it's taken such a long time that anything else I had planned for this video, I cannot do now. This is, what, 10 minutes? It's three time lapses yeah no that, that, that's enough for me even but yeah so we actually ended up using about 10 uh 10 chests of, of dirt which is not too bad really um we're gonna have to do something to tidy up the edges and all of that but you know if i've learned anything from this i think next time if there if it is the next time doing something like this uh we're just gonna get moss from a farm instead of doing it this way i mean oh my goodness why didn't i just make a farm <sighs> Oh well, while uh, the outro is playing, here's the comment of the day. It was, hey mom, look I'm on TVO. Basically, I pulled out this comment just to show you guys that if you leave a comment on the video, uh, it'll have a high likelihood of getting into the comment garden at the moment, or whatever the hell I'm calling that thing. Video's over. Go outside and do whatever. Just go do a hobby. I don't care. Alright, peace.